here are some of the frequently asked questions about sand plasma removal. Throughout the years, we received loads of questions about sand plasma removal, and these are only a few of them. How much does sand plasma removal cost? This is a completely random answer because it can actually cost between 3,000 US dollars down to 10, 20 US dollars, depending on how you're going to get them removed. If you go to a cosmetic clinic, they will charge you in the region of 2,000, 3,000 US dollars if you are in the US, or if you are in the UK, they actually charge you in the region of 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 pounds, depending on what clinic you go to. However, the result is pretty much the same, and they usually charge a sort of money for laser removal, but nowadays surgical removal is completely discarded. So discarded. So what they charge a lot of money for is namely either laser um, or quite advanced treatments like lasers or uh, other type of equipment. If you're then using uh, plasma devices, then the cost goes down because of uh, the wide availability of plasma devices, um, plasma or electrical arcan devices. So the cost may go down. And, and then if, you use, if they use cosmetic peels like TCA, which they actually do use themselves many times, then um, the cost goes down as well. So it depends on the type of cosmetic um, clinic you go to, um, how high end that may be, how much money they invest in advertising, uh, and so on. Um, then the cost may vary. However, the results pretty much are pretty much are the same across the board. So you can actually spend two to three thousand US dollars, or even less, or down to maybe five hundred US dollars for um, a treatment at a cosmetic clinic, depending on who, what cosmetic clinic you go to, what sort of treatments they um, they're going to use to remove your sun asthma, You're going to be charged at a different rate. So, um, and then if you actually do it on your own, then it costs even less. It can actually cost up to 10 to $20, just the cost of a TCA peel that you would actually do yourself in the very cheapest case scenario. So hopefully that answers this particular question. The other question is, if I decide to have my samphalasma to be surgically excised, surgically removed, how many treatments do I require? Now, usually, um, surgical uh, procedures are not performed any longer. However, there's still some uh, people, some doctors who still perform them. They're completely obsolete. There's no reason to actually go through this. Um, uh, this sort of procedure is quite invasive. Uh, there's many devices out there that can be used for this sort of um, treatment. They are not as invasive, including lasers or electrical arcing devices. So they're not the preferred uh, method to remove some plasma. However, if you go down that route, usually one treatment is, um, is okay, is enough for you to have your some plasma removed. However, some plasma, no matter how, you're going to remove them either with surgery, electrical arcing, lasers, whatever else, cosmetic pills. If they want to come back after a few months, three, four, five, six months, or a year, they will come back. And there is nothing you can do about it. This is one of the reasons why we always say, why would you want to go for an expensive treatment? Because after all, very likely, if you had some plasma before, they're going to come back. Um, and therefore you're going to repeat either same treatment or you're gonna go for something cheaper. So um, surgical excision or surgical removal of some plasma is best to be discarded if possible. However, if you go through it, um, you, have, you must be aware that yes, it may take one session only in order to remove them completely, but they can actually, they can actually come back later on in a few months or in a year or two years, depending on your particular case. The other question is, if I decide to use a cosmetic peel, a specialized cosmetic peel like TCA or possibly the sun remover or whatever other um, cosmetic peel that is suitable for this particular application, 
how many treatments do I need in order to get them removed. Now, with, that depends on the type of peel that you're going to use, either TCA, sunf remover, uh, whatever else. And also depends on your sunfall asthma, because sunfall asthma, different, um, different sunfall asthma are um, different in terms of depth. So, and also depends on how you're re using the, the cosmetic peel, uh, and how strong it is, and how long you keep it on for, uh, and many factors. So it can range between five to six treatments down to one treatment only. Just to give you an idea with a very strong TCA, you may be able to actually remove most sunfall asthma within one or two sessions. Um, with a sunfall remover, if you keep it on um, and you let it dry, um, you can actually even remove it with, within one application. Uh, however, if you just keep it on for a few minutes, as we recommend in the case of the sunf remover for 20 minutes or, or so, then you have to undergo a number of treatments. Um, so the longer normally, this applies only to the sunf remover and glycolic acid um, based specialized peels, the longer you keep the product on your, sun, on your sunfall asthma, the stronger the effects and therefore the less the applications you're going to need. Just to give you an example, when we started um, um, selling the sunf remover many years ago, um, the one with glycolic acid, we advised people to l let, it, uh, let the sunf remover dry on their sunf asthma. And usually what happened is that they had literally hole, holes on their sunf asthma. Where their sunf asthma were, they had holes two to three days after. So the, the gel completely had eaten the sunfall asthma and also the, the vitamin A um, added on that particular um, effect of um, skin regeneration that had the, the, the sunfall asthma to be pushed out of the skin. And therefore, in these cases, it was removed within one session. But because this sort of uh, harsh treatment caused some swelling, of the upper eyelids, then we opted to change the, the application to, to a few minutes, 20 minutes or so. And that, if you use it this way, an average sunfall asthma may take three, four to five sessions, five applications in order to remove. But then if you want to, um, to have a faster removal, then you change the length of application of your sunfall remover. Um, in case of TCA, that depends on the strength of the TCA peel that you're using. Uh, mainly, and if you're using a neutralizer or not, uh, and again on the depth of your sunfall asthma. So hopefully that answers the question. And to recap, once again, it may take, uh, depending on what peel you use and how you use it, and your sunfall asthma may take up to uh, five, six sessions, or down to one in a single session, you could even remove your own sunfall asthma. So, which is a quite an expensive way to, to remove your sunfall asthma, however, uh, you may require a number of treatments. And again, that is dependent on a number of factors. But namely, again, with the sunfall remover, the longer you keep the peel, the cosmetic peel on, the better the results. And the lesser the number of sessions that you require in order to remove them. The other question is, is my sunfall asthma treatment covered by my insurance, health insurance company in the US? You have to look at the policy, generally not, because some asthma removal is not a medical procedure in any part of the world. You can have your some asthma and live a very ha healthy and happy life unless you think that that makes you depressed. Uh, in that case, then you have them removed. However, you don't have an underlining medical condition that needs to be cured. It's just an aesthetic condition that you can get resolved um, on your own accord. So it does not require any medical intervention because it's not a medical uh, condition. Therefore, most policies do not include it. However, there are some policies in the US that may as well include it. Consult with your own um, insurance policy. The other frequently asked question is, because we are in the UK, we got asked it a number of times, is, is my sunfall asthma removal treatment included, covered by the NHS and the answer is as clear, straight, no. Sunfall asthma, once again, are not a medical condition, are not a disease, uh, therefore the NHS doesn't cover it. So you can, once again, 
you can have some Phrasmin, live a very happy and healthy life. You're not going to die of it. It's not going to make you blind. It's not impair you in any way, shape or form. So therefore you, you have the answer. Unfortunately, it's not uh, included in the, in the UK set of treatments and you have to have it removed privately or you have to find your own arrangements to, re to remove your sun plasma if you wish to have it removed of course. The other frequently asked question is what is the difference between skin depigmentation soon after sun plasma removal treatments and scarring? Now um, in, a, in a number of cases we've got people saying well I've got scarred by the treatment not the sun remover of course. By laser treatments, whatever treatments, surgery and so on. In case of surgery, scarring may occur. However, in case of laser, um, plasma, electrical arc and treatments in order to remove your sun plasma, what happens generally is that the new skin forms and then therefore it's going to be depigmented. Uh, it's not of the same color and same texture as the surrounding skin. So it looks like a scar, but however, normally this sort of texture blends in with the surrounding skin um, over time and it looks fine within a few months. So normally, um, if the area is sealed really well, that there are not usually scars using lasers, electrical arc or plasma, or especially using the sunfree remover or even TCA. Um, however, nobody can guarantee that some plasma treatments will not leave any scars if they do, by all means, try them. Make sure that is they, they, sign, they sign on a dotted line because uh, it is possible that you're gonna have a mark left somewhere where the, the sample asthma was in the past. So um, it is advisable that you have that expectation that you're gonna have marks later on. Likely, let's say 20% of the case, 30% of the cases, there are some marks later on, but no, nobody really bothers about them. Uh, because it's much better to have slight marks than having the yellow patches of um, those Santa asthma. The other frequently asked question is, will I have scars after surgical um, excision uh, for Santa asthma removal? The answer is very likely so. Um, once again, as we mentioned before, surgical excision is one of the treatments that is obsolete and it should not be uh, carried out any longer because there's many other methods that are much easier, they don't require anesthetics and so on, and a surgical excision normally leaves scars. However, even if you go undergo a surgical excision, uh, normally the scars that are left are not as evident as your sunfall asthma, so you will effectively be more than fine. However, you shall not expect this sort of treatment to be scar-free. So you would expect to have scars after the treatment, a surgical treatment for sun plasma removal. One of the other frequently asked questions, and this is one of the most important ones, is will my sun plasma come back after my sun plasma removal? Now, there's a very, very clear answer to that. No sun plasma removal treatment can guarantee that your sun plasma will not come back. They can come back in the same spot a few uh, months after, three to four months after, or they can come back one or two years after sun plasma treatment. So um, it can happen. Usually what happens is you have your sun plasma removed, they're fine for a few months to up to a year and then they appear back again. And they can either appear on other areas of uh, your eyelids or lower eyelids or exactly on the same spot of, the, of your eyelids. Um, with um, the sun remover normally, if they do appear, they normally appear on other areas of uh, your eyelids and usually they do not reappear on the exact location where you had them uh, before removal using the sun remover. We hope that you liked this video. Um, once again, if you have some asthma and you'd like to have them removed, by all means, why not using the sun remover? It's a product that has been tried and tested, extremely successful, and we actually helped thousands of people the world over remove their sun asthma using the sun remover, which you can actually buy from this website, sunfalasmaremoval.com from Areton Limited. This is Andreas, and we wish you a great day.